All is quiet right now here in the steer pen, but I give it about a 100% chance that if you come out tonight at 730 for opening night here at the Salem Rodeo, these guys are going to be a lot more active. Again, welcome back. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanna, which are live here at the Salem Rodeo. I want to start off by showing you the radar. And we do have at least a little bit of rain around. A lot of what we're seeing is on the lighter end of things. We do have a, a few isolated to widely scattered showers, mainly in areas along and to the east of the parkway. We're going to continue to have the chance for some spotty showers here as we head into the overnight tonight. I want to show you the bigger picture. And this storm means business. We are dealing with not only snow, but we're dealing with some tornadic potential. We're dealing with some severe weather. We're dealing with incredibly heavy rain in all in areas west of us. But yes, this is our next weather maker and it is heading to the east right for us. So at 11 o'clock tonight, we are looking at some spotty showers around. I don't think everybody's going to be getting wet at that point. Saturday, 7 a.m. We are still looking at the chance for some scattered showers around and that chance for scattered showers will be with us all the way through, say, 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. But we're going to pause this at 10 p.m. on Saturday and look at that nasty line of showers and thunderstorms at that point in time approaching Withville, Parisburg, also Independence. That's the line we need to watch. So roughly from around 10 p.m. through midnight through probably about 4 a.m. is our best chance to have uh, these showers and thunderstorms becoming quite intense with the worst of the weather in Roanoke, likely between 11 p.m. and around 1 a.m. And it looks like Lynchburg, your worst weather will come roughly between 1 and 3 o'clock in the morning. And then by around 4 or 5 a.m., all of this should be for the most part gone. Maybe a little bit of leftover rain Sunday at 7 a.m. Otherwise, the trend on Sunday will be for us to see increasing amounts of sunshine. We do have a marginal risk for severe weather as we head into Saturday night. Uh, a marginal risk is a level one out of five. And the weather Weather impacts damaging wind. Yeah, that is possible. Even if we don't have any thunderstorms producing wind, the front in itself is going to produce quite a bit of wind. We have to watch out for the potential for some localized flooding. There could be a little bit of shear in the environment, so we're going to keep a close eye on that as well. Temperatures stand right now 59 in Withville. We've got temperatures uh, likely in the 50s out across the Roanoke Valley over towards Lynchburg, even towards south side with temperatures in the 40s towards the highlands. For tonight, cloudy with some fog and drizzle. Overnight lows tonight in the middle 40s to lower 50s and your 48 hour forecast showing temperatures quite warm this weekend, much warmer than where we're at right now. Temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 60s in the NRV, also in the Highlands could be near 70 out across South Side. For the Roanoke Valley, you are looking at temperatures in the 60s through Monday, 50s briefly return Tuesday, 60s on Wednesday, then temperatures fall into the 40s by next Friday. Lynchburg going to have several opportunities for rain here over the next week. Biggest one, at least for the time being, looks to be Saturday night to early Sunday, clearing Sunday afternoon. Monday is dry and then we'll have another chance for some rain as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Coming back out here to the Salem Rodeo, coming up at 5.30, we're actually going to be interviewing Kevin DeBusk, who has been a part of this rodeo for quite some time. We're going to ask him what he thinks is the best part about the rodeo. We hope you'll stay tuned. Reporting live here at the Salem Rodeo, I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Back to you guys. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. We will see you then. Love the hat. The Salem Stampede Rodeo is back in town tonight. Cowboys and cowgirls are gearing up to show off their best skills. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz joins us live from the championship. And Jeff, is it going to be a packed house tonight? <laughs> it is certainly going to be a packed house. And I do think I heard you guys say I was a cowboy. That's the highest compliment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Anyways, <laughs> we are here live at the Salem Rodeo, joined by my good buddy, Kevin DeBusk. He is the director of public relations here for the rodeo. Kevin, I would always like to call this event fun for all ages, from kindergartners all the way up to 70, 80 year olds. This has something for everybody. It is, absolutely. That's the reason we've been here 53 years, mm -hmm. is we provide a full uh, family entertainment package. Uh, we've got all the athletes, both two and four legged out here. We've got uh, different program, you know, we've got the trick riders, we've got the Roman riders, we've got a great uh, rodeo clown out here. Mm -hmm. So we bring an action packed time period with a fun family fair that they can be involved with. Sure, sure. And out of all the activities going on, and there are plenty, which one having to do the, with the rodeo is your favorite? I think it's the weatherman on horseback. <laughs> In all seriousness. <laughs> but in reality, um, Don't it's, go not, anywhere, it's not one event. It's not um, mm -hmm. one thing. Right. It's being able to sit back and see all the smiling faces, sure. see the people uh, when they leave here talking about how much fun they actually had. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to be had for everybody. And of course, this gets underway tonight at 730. That's show number one with the tickets tonight, $18. Now, we also have shows going on Saturday at 730 and then again Sunday at 2 p.m. The question is, will you get wet going from your car into the uh, Salem Civic Center? And the answer is 
probably from time to time. Let's head on over and show you what the radar picture looks like right now. And, and we do have some spotty showers in areas along and east of the parkway. And, and as we spread out the view, this is a storm system that is really powerful for January. I mean, we're talking about severe weather south. We're talking about blizzard conditions north. We've got heavy rain. We've got some wind. We've got even the potential for some tornadoes. As this cold front will move to the east, it will be an impact player in our weather here. Now, uh, the uh, severe weather risk here for the rest of today into tonight will lie along the Mississippi River Valley with the worst of the weather into areas, say, near Memphis, Shreveport, uh, Little Rock, even into areas near Dallas. Now, that Saturday severe risk will be highest in areas south and west of us. However, as we head Saturday night, we are now in a marginal risk for severe weather. That's a level one out of five, and uh, I think the biggest threat would be damaging wind gusts. Future tracker showing tonight at 11 o'clock. Again, some isolated showers. I don't think the uh, coverage area is going to be all that widespread. I do think that as we head into Saturday morning, we're going to have some scattered showers around. Still going to have scattered showers around as we head into Saturday afternoon. But by 10 o'clock tomorrow, I want to focus your attention to that line of showers and thunderstorms out to the west. I would say by around 10 o'clock, we're going to certainly see some pretty nasty weather into Bland, Width, and Grayson counties. And as we go through time, by midnight, the worst of the weather could be right over Roanoke. I do think if you're watching us in Lynchburg and Southside, the worst of your weather will be between 1 and 3 o'clock in the morning, with a lot of this energy pushing out by around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, maybe a leftover shower or two Sunday 7 a.m. But the trend will be for us on Sunday to see a lot of wind and to see increasing sunshine. So your storm headlines, again, worst of the weather, 10 p.m. through about 3, 4 a.m. on Sunday, with the storm threats being local uh, wind damage and also some very heavy rain that shouldn't last all that long. Also, we have a wind advisory in effect for Giles, Bland, Wythe, and Grayson counties from 7 a.m. Saturday through 1 a.m. Sunday. Could certainly have some wind gusts tomorrow in excess of 30 or 40 miles per hour, especially in the mountains. Winds won't be quite as strong the farther east you go. For tonight, cloudy with fog and drizzle around. Overnight lows tonight in the 40s and lower 50s. And in your 48-hour forecast, after a relatively cool day today, the mercury skyrockets as we head into the weekend with highs in the low to mid-60s in the NRV and Highlands. Could hit near 70 out across south side over the weekend. And again, the more warmth you have, the more instability you have. So that's why we're thinking, again, the chances there for a few thunderstorms that could pack a little bit of a punch come Saturday night. For the Roanoke Valley, temperatures really all over the place here for the next week. But the, uh, the more the story here is for the next seven days, we are looking at uh, temperatures at or above normal. We're looking at highs in the 60s through Monday, and then we're in the 50s on Tuesday, falling into the 40s next Friday. Lynchburg, you're going to have several opportunities for some wet weather here. First opportunity Saturday, Saturday night into early Sunday, and then we'll have another chance for rain Tuesday into Wednesday, with perhaps even another chance for rain coming late on Friday. So uh, overall, have your umbrella handy this weekend, although you're not going to have to use it at all times with the, uh, uh, the, the heaviest rain likely pushing in while we're sleeping Saturday night. Coming back out here to the Salem Civic Center, uh, Kevin, I can't thank you enough for your time. It is always so nice catching up with you. This is something that I look forward to every year. This is something the area looks forward to every year, and we can't wait to get the show underway here in just a little while. Thank, thank you, you, Jeff. For we look forward to it. Mm -hmm. Guys, back to you. So, Jeff, you're going to be in a bowl at 6 o'clock. Is that right? <laughs> is that what we heard? <laughs> Yeah, well, funny you say that because I asked Kevin, I was like, Kevin, where's, oh, where's my bowl later? And he said, no, Jeff, we have something a little more your style as we uh, head towards 6 o'clock. I think he's going to show me the animal that uh, is more perhaps uh, on my skill level coming up here in just a little bit. A pony. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, the mutton busting right. cool sheep? <laughs> we'll Thanks, see. Jeff. Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Back out here live at the Salem Rodeo and again joined by my good buddy Kevin. Kevin, this is where I belong. This, I can handle this. I've ridden a bull before at a restaurant. Jeff, Jeff, I've heard about the bull you rode and it wasn't even plugged up at the time. Oh, see, that's that's <laughs> wrong. All right, so show me what uh, uh, among the animals in here what I can handle. So there's only one thing in here mm -hmm. aside from a dog that I think you can handle. And that's going to be right over here. The horses. No, 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 no. not the horses. You tried that before and they <laughs> ran away on you. I remember. Uh, this is the only thing right here that I think you could uh, hand. Wait a minute. We may have a problem with that. 
Are you uh, more than 50 pounds? <laughs> slightly. Just a In that bit case, uh, no. We don't have anything that I think you could handle Well, here. then my bosses at work will be very happy <laughs> that I'm going to come back happy and healthy. I want to show you the radar picture here locally, friends, and you'll notice that we do have at least a little bit of rain, much of it light in areas to our east. We will, of course, be tracking a much larger storm system here as we head over the weekend. And I want to expand the picture. And We've got a nasty storm producing a lot of snow, blizzard-like conditions on the north end. And on the south end of the storm, we've got severe thunderstorms, we've got tornadoes possible, and heavy rain. Now for us, as we show future tracker now, at around 11 o'clock tonight, just a few showers. I think the activity might become a little more widespread on Saturday with some scattered off and on showers in the forecast at 7 a.m. And even as we head towards 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're still going to have the chance for some passing showers around. But I'm going to pause this at 10 o'clock Saturday and, and notice that impressive line of showers and thunderstorms from West Virginia into North Carolina. I think by around 10, 11 o'clock, we're going to certainly see some pretty nasty weather into our westernmost counties. I do think that by around midnight tomorrow night, areas from, say, Hot Springs through Covington, Lexington, into Roanoke and Rocky Mountain, you're going to have uh, a line of perhaps some strong to severe thunderstorms with Lynchburg and Southside seeing the worst of the weather between roughly 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, as we head beyond about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, the worst of the weather exits, and by 7 a.m. Sunday, maybe a leftover shower or two, but the trend will be for us on Sunday to turn mostly sunny pretty quickly with the winds really kicking into high gear. The Storm Prediction Center does have all of us in a marginal risk for severe weather Saturday night. That's a level one out of level five with the weather impacts. Again, uh, greatest being tomorrow evening into, say, the 3, 4, 5 a.m. hour of Sunday. Uh, we're looking at damaging wind gusts possible. Localized flooding can't be ruled out, and there could even be a little bit of shear in the environment, so we're going to have to watch that spin. As far as temperatures are concerned right now, we have them mainly in the 40s and 50s. And as we take a look at tonight's forecast, we're going to be cloudy with fog and drizzle and some light showers possible overnight lows tonight, 40s and lower 50s. And in your 48-hour forecast, notice the NRV and Highlands here for the next two days in the low to mid 60s, approaching 70 both days out across South Side. Your Rono Valley seven-day forecast showing a wet go of it at times for us Saturday, especially in the Saturday night. By Sunday, we will turn mostly sunny, very windy on Sunday. Monday is dry with another chance for rain Tuesday into Wednesday. And for Lynchburg, you're looking at highs mainly in the 60s here Saturday through Monday. Then you're in the 50s Tuesday. May fall into the upper 40s and lower 50s one week from today. So one week from today may start a little bit of a pattern change across the region. And of course, back out here live at the Salem Civic Center, we've got right now about an hour and 10 minutes until showtime here at opening night at the Salem Rodeo. We hope to see you guys out here. Back to you.